Maple Farm and we are starting off with a bit of footage from Mark harvesting some sunflowers. Um, there were a bunch of sunflower contracts, some corn contracts, some canola harvesting contracts. You actually see the other combine off in the distance there um, that the guys pretty quickly hammered through. I expected them to last a lot longer, but a couple of uh, big stints pretty big stint from Mark I think he managed to clear most of the sunflower contracts off at least which is kind of cool I think we now have a small stockpile of those in the silo for when the price picks up um, yeah it's, I still really enjoy um, seeing all these different bits of the map and you know the fact that the other farms have animals and stuff in is uh, I know I did it but I still find it kind of cool um, to see it as, as you go around the map. Um, one of the nice things about how Maypole has worked out is I've got to play a lot more of the map as well because I've been doing contracts as well. Um, I quite often, like on Greenlands, the, um, I tend to be very focused around the farmland that I own. So there are some useful things in the sale at the moment. So we're going to get the uh, the Plotting Air Faro 4010D. Um, this model is not specifically era appropriate, but Potinger did have um, forage dragons of this kind of size around in the 90s. So going for that at 20 grand. Um, and that means we can get rid of the other one. Um, so we had that on the lease. Wow. Um, trying to get rid of that. 20 thousand liters capacity is going to make the zero grazing much quicker. And then we're going to switch over to DS Agri because there is my favorite root crop harvester on sale as well. Yep, it's coming back. The uh, the, the KS6B. Um, there are a few root crop harvesting contracts, not as many as I expected. Going to get a GPS on it to make life a little bit easier. And I'm going to get both headers and buy those at full price because, you know, they're, they're not that expensive. Um, this means... I'm not going to force them to do root harvesting contracts because they are a bit time consuming and not everyone enjoys them, but the option's there. And it also means that when my sugar beet field is ready, there's a root crop harvester available, which is kind of cool. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to leave that up at the store. I'm actually going to leave the forage wagon up at the store as well um, because we need to deal with all of the bales that were left in the field. Um, it is time to plow in this huge grass pasture and uh, get it seeded with some wheat. So I found that using the Merlot was much harder than using my uh, 7810. So you've seen a bit that I swapped to it. I swapped to the 7810. Um, I don't know if it's the bale fork, probably. Um, I have used the Merlot before and it was fine. I was on the server at the time, so maybe it's that. Um, you might, you kind of see off in the distance, probably Mark was on um, doing a one of the sunflower harvesting contracts. Um, you can see the combine just up there. I think he'd wandered off to go and get dinner. But um, yeah. Um, whether it was on, because I was on the server and the, ba the bales just seemed really bouncy and like they didn't want to stick to the the bale times properly or just behave properly um and when i switched to the tractor they were really fine so um yeah my i did did all the, i did a, that big stack of hay bales with the merlot and it was okay so maybe it, i don't know i don't know what it is maybe could it be the round around bales i had a problem with those before um I don't know, but I was, I was kind of disappointed because I was looking forward to using the Merlot, but it, it turned out that it didn't really didn't really make life easier. Um, yeah, I also rest there were a heck of a lot of bales in the field, and I much prefer when where we were using the separate baler wrapper. You can actually see the bale kind of bouncing about on the bale time there. Um, when I was using the baler wrapper, or not the baler wrapper, the separate baler and wrapper, that it had the bale turner on, and I could do the double stacks. It makes stacking so much quicker. I am half tempted um, to go back to that when I do my silage bales next, because um, I just found it was so much easier. 
to I think the time that you save in using a baler wrapper I probably lost in stacking um, yeah you'll also see that in a bit I swap how I do the stacking because I don't like stacking them like this I know it's realistic to stack them like this but it, it just nothing was really working for me on this um, I don't know maybe I was having a bad day um, you can see it's not going to actually thought about cutting this bit out and just showing the loading with the the, uh, the tractor um, maybe it's because I haven't used a telehandler in a while to do this um, I don't know don't know so one, one of the things see I'm knocking bales off the trailer and all sorts one of the things that I was experimenting with but I gave up on this is um, using the the joystick on the, the PlayStation controller to do the, the arm movement. And it actually worked quite well. So I've got it set up so that um, rather than holding the controller, because I quite often sit, you know, sat in the armchair, I can have the controller in front of my mouse. Um, and I think I've, re I've remapped the control so everything is on the one joystick with three or two or three sort of action buttons to make it all work. Um, I'm going to have more of a play with that at some point um yeah between that and the uh the little button box thing i'm uh yeah I, I, i'm enjoying some of the new stuff so I'm not using the button box yet on here because i think this was recorded before i even made that um so this footage has been waiting for a while to be finished into a video um but i do use it on the next couple of greenlands videos and it's awesome I'm really enjoying it. I'm, uh, yeah, I kind of wish I had more buttons. I, I suspect um, there are some that I'm not using as much. And I think what I'll probably end up doing is after a few weeks of using it, probably maybe swap some of them around. I, uh, th th those keycaps that I brought, you can open up. It's obviously so you can change the bit of paper. You can remap the keys however you want. And I got spares as well. So, um, yeah, the the Bluetooth there's a Bluetooth version that of that where you can have several key layouts mapped. But I mean having to swap the keys over or remember what they changed to. Um the reason I didn't go for the Bluetooth one is apparently it switches itself off quite often. Um whereas that one you just plug it in and it works. It's really good. And it's it's the nice thing I guess about compared to SIM dashboard. Um you know if, well one I struggle to get sim dash no i have got sim dashboard working on desktop i think but you know you need the sim dashboard mod running and stuff whereas this is just you just plug it in and it works um that means on um multiplayer with the farming agency i'll be able to use it because they use enhanced vehicles so i can just plug it in and it'll work i'm not gonna have to oh can you add sim dashboard so that i can use that please or whatever you know um so yeah i really like that as, as long as the game has the mod in it will work um i it, i like it so much i've been tempted to get a second one to set up some sometimes i like vca over enhanced vehicle and maybe doing one that does that or doing one that does what's this gps um yeah if, if you don't want the full 24 key one they're actually quite cheap so um, and they do the one I mentioned with the dial on it. I'm kind of curious as to how that might be useful for things. Um, yeah, so I might end up getting another one. You can see now we have switched. I've put the little doits on the little doits doits on the uh, on the trailer, and uh, you will see in a bit we have some amusing moments once the trailer's fully. So these bales are like ninety seven percent fermented. So I figured I would get them stacked up and probably by the time I finished stacking them and driven up to the sell point they should have changed um, I don't know if any of you remember the survival challenge series I did right at the start of FS where I was doing some amount of grass silage and I would do a similar thing I would load them up just as they're about to finish fermenting um, and even without maize plus silage is much heavier than grass 
So when the bales change with silage, suddenly everything gets heavier. Um, and when, with that one, I was using one of the base game trailers that had a dolly, and you know it would suddenly get so because they wouldn't all change at the same time, and the balance would all change. Yeah, you'll see that coming up in a bit. Um, it was uh, it wasn't as bad as this. Honestly, it wasn't as bad, but yeah. Once we've got the bale stacked, we're going to uh, get this field ploughed in. Um, in preparation for next time where we'll get it planted basically um, the the next DLC was announced yesterday um, so this will give you an idea when I'm recording the commentary the, uh, I'm, I'm just loading up mod hub so that I can talk a little bit more informed so here's the hay and forage pack um, it looks like it is mostly small stuff. It actually reminds me a lot of the Alpine DLC from FS19, which I didn't feel was particularly successful. Not from my view, anyway. Um, getting some new brands, which are not brands that I've particularly heard of. We're getting some Riggy Track stuff back. That potentially could be fun. I kind of like the small tractors, even though I don't use them that often. It's got this tilty cab thing maybe we'll use that for something but i think really the only things that i can see me using are the borrow dragons everything else looks really small um it's an interesting looking wind rower actually but yeah i'm not sure I, i've seen mixed reaction so far from people um i'm probably uncharacteristically for me going to reserve some judgment as to whether i think it's really good or really bad at the moment it seems kind of average which generally seems to be my <laughs> most dlcs um i don't know why i expected to be honest um so yeah it is what it is isn't it you know you can't change it I, it's interesting i guess the giants have gone for that over some of the other things they could have gone for um you know there are probably some other brands of stuff that aren't there it doesn't really seem to add so it adds this cab leveling thing but it doesn't seem to add any big levels of functionality to the game uh, yep and I need to make a note to blur out the text that has just appeared it's probably really bad that I kind of talk about that stuff as I'm going but you know how I do things so um, yeah so what you can see I'm doing now is I am picking up pairs of bales standing them on their end and then nudging them together so trying to get something like i was getting with the separate baler wrapper um, at some point i want to switch to a square baler and a wrapper but i don't know whether they whether square bale wrappers were a thing in the 90s so we might have to keep going a bit longer um with the round bales the other option would be to switch to doing silage in the clamp on here um all of the may silage to uh to do something with at some point yeah so there wasn't a video yesterday or on if you're not watching this on the day of release on tuesday because it was another bank holiday in the uk i don't remember the last time i worked a five-day week at work now um between bank holidays and taking some leave and stuff it's been well a month since i did a full five day week at work um and i'd actually hoped to finish this video off on monday um so they would come out yesterday but i uh am in the midst of this uh wave of migraines so i have good days and bad days at the moment um it's i'm pretty sure it's being driven by the weather the weather in the uk is quite changeable 
we've had a couple of weekends where it's been quite hot and that tends to be an issue um, and then the last couple of days it's been a bit more overcast and, it, 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 and changeable and that always messes my head up so yeah Monday was it was really frustrating I had a few things I wanted to get done over the weekend um, Monday I that's Friday I got loads done um, we've done round two of reseeding the lawn so a decent amount took of what I planted of the grass that I planted last time but it wasn't really as not enough of a coverage that I wanted and the ground was still really uneven so I did another um, load of tops of seed and topsoil um, it now looks a lot leveler just waiting to see how that grows in um, did that on Friday had a chilled day on Saturday um, it was kind of nice to chill out and sit and watch TV with Mr. D and stuff just relax um, I wanted then on Sunday to get a bunch of stuff done um, but Sunday and Mon Sunday I was quite headachey when I had to do it stuff didn't really get done so I was like right, okay I need to do it on Monday um, Monday I woke up really headachey but got some of it done um, but not everything so I've got a load of jobs I want to get done next weekend as well had to reseal the bath so we uh, our, bar our whole bathroom needs redecorating if I'm honest but not my favourite thing um, but a bath seems to move a, a reasonable amount and so about every three to six months I have to reseal around between the, the tiles and the bath um, and it got to the point where that needed to doing really badly um, so that was one of the jobs I planned to do on Sunday um, but didn't get done so did that Monday um, a few other bits and pieces um, I really need to do a run to the to the tip to get rid of all that rubbish that's accumulating in the shed um, yeah so that, that that was my bank holiday weekend a, a lot of my grainage because again the weather was really changeable and that's that was about it a lot of my grainage um, what else did I do I did I I done done some stuff for some modders for things that are coming up soon, which is kind of cool. Um, I have a copy now of Saxthorpe, a, a, a more up to date copy. So um, Farms and Briscoe sent me a copy a couple of weeks ago, and it was quite early in its development then. And I think there were any yards, for example, there were only a couple of fields. Um, he sent me a copy on Monday, um, on Monday, and. Uh, he then messaged me yesterday to say I, I'm going to update it again so I haven't actually looked at it yet but um, I'm really excited for Saxthorpe it's, uh, it's a really nice looking map so um, Artec did a, a map tour last week or over the weekend which I shared and Farmson Briscoe did another one um, on Monday I think which I also shared so uh, yeah, I'm really really looking forward to that I'm going to throw out a controversial statement here. There are maps coming from smaller mappers that I am more excited about than Court Arms. Um, obviously, and Dag Dagwin did his tour of Court Farms over the weekend. It looks amazing. But I think I'm more excited by some of the other maps. Um, yeah, there's, there's Saxlop coming. There are some other maps coming um and yeah i think i'm more excited about those and partly that is because as um someone who does youtube videos i'm not sure i like the term content creator as someone who does youtube videos everyone will be playing court farms so many will be playing whatever the starter farm is on court farms i know there are other farms god that red stack of bales is ridiculous but i think that yes you know Doing videos on Core Farms will get a little bit of, you know, two or three videos that get a lot more views. Then it'll go back to normal. And I think people will be maybe a bit burnt out on it. Um, I know, you know, like when Calmston came out, how many, I think I said this recently, how many times did you watch, you know, YouTubers harvest that same field with the same combine and all start in the same place? Um, 
and I like to try and do different stuff and I think I'd rather promote some smaller mappers you know so at the moment I don't have any plans for Court Farm which is probably controversial um, I'm sure it'll be a really nice map but at the moment I'm not uh, I'm sure I'll play it at some point but at the moment, I'm not planning to straight away jump on two core farms. Um, it will have the UK growth calendar. Had a quick chat with Oxy about that a couple of days ago. Um, so that's cool. Um, that's partly because um, it's nice for people who are playing on UK maps to have UK growth. Um, so yeah, happy for that to be included. Um, Saxthorpe will have it, obviously. Um, Saxthorpe and another project that I'm working on will also have some other little additions from me. Um, so things like UK appropriate weather. Um, so many mappers, it seems, don't worry about things like changing the weather. And, you know, it's like... 35 degrees in the summer and sunny all summer and yeah so um obviously maybe not obviously I, a while ago i did the videos um i did a video on getting lots more snow and that meant that i understand how the weather files work and so um offered to farms in briscoe yesterday to do some Norfolkian weather for him on that and there's another project that I'm working on with someone which will have region appropriate weather which is I'm really excited about um, a bit like the growth calendar it seems to be an area that mappers just kind of gloss over or some do anyway um, so many seem to take giant space game stuff and put over the top really nice looking maps but not all of them worry about some of that stuff, which, you know. So that's cool. Yeah. Um, the improvised animal sheds. That video did so well. Um, people are obviously quite excited about that. Um, it's still pending testing, pending its second round testing. I'm hoping it will go in, go through its second round of testing this week. But I have seen that the mod testing list has obviously grown over the last week and it is now up to a 12 working day wait so it may actually fall into next week before it gets tested um hopefully it will pass so i have the option now for some more buildings to use as well um so i may end up expanding that pack e over the next month or so um or doing a separate one with some other buildings in it um maybe some bigger sheds some with higher capacities and stuff for like those that don't play with mace plus and that kind of thing or on pc and can't edit themselves that is a stupid stack of bales well done me um the one lone veil that's left i'm going to keep i'm not going to try and stick that on the top um it's already ridiculous enough hopefully um osa in the uk isn't it um can't remember what that stands for hopefully they don't stop me on the way um or the dvla or anyone like that hopefully we can get up to the cell point without anyone spotting that rather ridiculous trailer um yeah stacking that made me appreciate just how much work the ds agri guys did when they were doing all their bailing contracts um yeah yeah i i, I should have i should have let that job out i think um, but basically I needed to get the field clear so that I could crack on um, because there's quite a bit of work to do to get the grass field ploughed in and ready to replant um, and we're in mid-September so let's get this 210,000 litres of silage up to the cell point um, yeah, I think we might need to get new axles for this trailer. Remember, folks, realism is 
indeed key. And there are some bales there that aren't strapped. Let's just do that first. Apart from the bit at the start where I was stacking with the Merlot and I was stacking the bales the other way around, actually I didn't have any major issues with getting all of these on the trailer. It was, uh, yeah, it went surprisingly well. Just gonna have a quick look. So these are, we can get a window to pop up. Um, I, I think I might send the Merlot back up to DS Agri as well, because we don't need that now. Um, I thought I was going to be checking how fertilized they were. Did realize I, I, I had to stop um, partway through this. And when I was listening back to get myself in the right spot, I realized I sound incredibly tired. Kind of am still, but yeah. Oh well. If I wait for a day that I'm not tired, things will never happen. So let's uh, get this. Oh, you can hear the hazards. I hadn't noticed that. Um, so we're going to the closest cell point because this is a heavy, ridiculous load. Um, I actually kept the cruise control down at 14 miles an hour just to make everything easier and more stable. Um, I should probably have had an escort vehicle as well. Um, the mark is still working away on the sunflower harvest. Um, Simple Inspector is so good for that. And yeah, the Merlot's on its way back up to the DS Agri yard as well. No. The bales have turned into silage. Um, it's a bit heavier. It's a bit heavier. <laughs> I'm not going to show you all of the struggle. I should have got into the closer to the cell point. I had to skip some time to get them to finish fermenting. And uh, yeah, a bigger tractor might have been in order. Oh, well, it's, uh, it is what it is. We'll, we'll get them sold. Um, you remember I was saying how they get heavier when they turn into silage. Sometime later, we are in the cell point. Um, so we've got two grand in the bank the moment cash flow is not being good and we have a fair bit i want to actually spend so there we go it's uh like twenty two thousand so far and one thing i am quite pleased with is we have a relatively good environmental score considering i'm not really precise farming um and that's changing and that should improve actually as we go through this year um, we should get more precise with our farming what's that 34 grand now pretty nice a couple of bales to try and nudge into the trigger and remember folks realism is key so i could really have done it with a front weight on this tractor for this journey for a couple of reasons um, one it would have made it easier for moving that stuff um, once they once they fermented um, and I could have used it to push these bales into the trigger I I kind of wonder actually um, you'll see it in a video coming up how often if you know if, if a farmer is just moving you know like towing a bale trailer would they have a front weight on to help balance things out um, and keep a bit of weight over the front wheels or would they not because that's more mass they're moving no. 36 grand for a bale for a trailer full of silage bales i think is pretty good i'm pretty pleased with that um 33 plus the environment i don't think it shows the environmental bonus so we were on two grand we're on 38 grand Thirty-six thousand pounds that is a pretty nice amount of cash i am very pleased with that so, Next job is to get the plowing done. So brought over the, um, geez, words, the 8410 and the, the smaller of the two plows. I kind of wish I'd brought over the disc plow in the end because this was quite a long job. Um, and VCA has picked up the wrong working width, clearly. Um, although I think it is actually listed as a two and a half meter plow. It's more like three and a bit. Um, so we're going to make use of that extra width. Um, but yeah, I, I, I wish I'd brought over the, the other plow. That would have been 
significantly quicker, I think. Yeah. Having GPS makes life so much easier. Um, is that has been game changing, literally. Um, there are some tractors still, some bits of kit that don't have it. Um, the 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 vent nine the vent nine two six doesn't have it the the two older Deutzes are still knocking them out i've got one the s agri's got one they don't have gps and the fiat agri is still up at, at at the s agri and it does not have gps and does make an appearance in the next video um i think actually i might not video it any of it i did a whole bunch of um i said over the weekend i wasn't very productive but i did do a whole bunch of contracts on the bank holiday monday on here but i don't think i recorded any of it so yeah it may not actually be in a video but i did break out the the fiat to do some work on course play um while i was doing a root crop harvesting contract so yep that's one of the i i have a thing on here where we we've swapped some tractors obviously and the i think notably the ford that i had for a little while that was on lease and the the fit dt that we had because that has gearbox issues everything else we've kept and i plan to keep um we might retire it and buy better more modern things but i plan to keep certainly all the tractors combines maybe um if we've got shed space to store them then things like that i want to keep you know trailers and implements and stuff not so much but the big things that we buy do want to keep um, just going behind it i'm kind of annoyed that we've swapped the baler over as i was saying earlier the i the bale stacking using the um the separate baler wrapper baler and wrapper where i could pre-stage the bales on end in pairs the stacking was so much quicker um i guess in the future when we can use like the anderson bale collector that'll then negate that speed bonus and as i often say i still don't know when they started to exist i know um things like the heston bale super chaser existed in the 90s um but i don't think being able to move 10 hestons is going to be that much quicker than you know we can fit so many bales on a big bale trailer um i think the idea of that that from what someone was saying is to clear the bales off the field but not necessarily to move them to where you're storing them so um and there were some older bale accumulators for the smaller bales but i have not yet found when things like the the anderson round bale collector or the arcusin auto stack existed um I think probably if I don't find anything concrete, we'll go for the next decade. So once we're in the 2000s, we'll uh, we'll add those in probably. Anyway, I, I skipped quite a lot of the plowing because it was pretty time consuming. Um, and we're on the headlands now. So it, uh, yeah, Kartek is on harvesting some canola off wherever he was. So I actually did all of this video and i think the next one um with the server up so in the past i've had a i've had a few lag issues um but our, our internet is is still a little bit flaky um it's something that we need to get in touch with virgin media our provider about we over the weekend our uh, the the tivo box that they provide for watching the cable tv died um and we got they sent us a replacement for that in like less than 24 hours and the new one works fine so the problem is what i expect they'll do is just send out a new router and i think we're on our second third new router and that doesn't seem to make a difference it just means you have to re reattach everything to the network um, yeah but something that we need to try and get sorted is it's quite annoying that we pay for really good internet and certainly the wi-fi element of the internet is quite intermittent um you know, probably in a day it'll reset itself a couple of times which is just really annoying you know i've uh with, with work i can't have to end up tethered to my mobile because for you know like 
virtual meetings, it's much more reliable than our home Wi-Fi, which is kind of wrong. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, click the like button, comments, questions, or suggestions below. And I will see you next time on Maple Farm.